All right, here we go. It's Jack Bauer from the Jack Bauer Studios. Free as for me, ready to bring you some more content here that will hopefully help you out. All right, this is an issue that affects all of us here. Uh, our broadband, you know, what you're paying for, what you're not getting, a lot of throttling going on, whoever you might have. There's a lot of that going around. I did a video on this to help out a lot of you folks. This is a little bit different for your Android boxes, whatever devices that you might have. To remove the ISP blocking through like whatever type of internet service provider that you might have. So you can go back and check out that video if you want to see those particular links. Because this one has to do with let's go hack your broadband router. You're already paying for this, but your default settings are killing you. Okay? They're preset to make sure that you're not a satisfied customer so that you're paying your $50, $100 a month and you're going to call them up to pay more so that you can get an extra you know, a few megabits of uh, internet per second upgrade, okay? We all know what that's about. So let's go and show you what exactly what I'm talking about here. All right, so before we start this video, I want you to hear this is a Netflix discovery that was going to Congress. It's all over the internet, it's all over the news. They want you to go see their free fast.com, okay? I did this in many other videos. See this. It's a free tool that you can compare on speedtest.net. See if you're getting cheated, throttled by your internet provider. What are you paying for? What should you be getting? Okay. All you got to do is go to that web address up there, fast.com. Click the little button and then see what you're paying for. I have already fixed my router and my settings. So I can tell you that before this, I was getting about six. Okay. Six MBPs per second. Now look, I'm at 25. I'll do it one more time for you at the beginning of this video so that you can see for yourself that I am flying, okay? Because I pay for about 25 myself. Good enough. All right, so this is all on Wi-Fi, right? Good, good, good. So here we go, let's get to the hacking of the broadband, okay? This is all free information that is also available on the internet. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna bring you right to it. This is from WikiHow, look at that, all right? Reputable people, they do all these type of things. Um, I go and do like a lot of research myself. So we're gonna start here with regards to hack broadband for speed, okay? If you're looking to increase your download and upload speed of your internet connection, you have definitely come to the right place. It is possible to alter your connection speed without added costs. That's what I'm about, right there, okay? Well, not. Well, it's not possible to make changes to your internet speed directly from an Apple computer, so pay attention. Again, you Apple people, you cannot do this from your Apple computer or device to do your broadband settings. You have to do it, you have to hack your broadband right here from Windows. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, but everything is done through uh, Windows. So here we go, getting started. I'm going to show you the picture illustrations. And I will save you this link, of course, in the video comments section. So getting started, the first thing you're going to do on your Windows that you have, 8, 10, whatever you got going on, is you're going to look for the start. Okay? They give you nice little beautiful arrows. I'm going to go through the slow. Then it says open the start menu. Look to the lower left side of your screen and locate the start icon. Okay? It looks like a little circle colored window. Click on it. Okay? Here's your next arrow. It will look like this, okay? Look for that on your computer. Scroll down to number two. Type run in the search bar once you have clicked on the start icon. Look to the bottom of the window and enter run in the search bar, okay? You see that right there? Just put the number run in there. Click on run after entering run in the start menu search bar. Look at the very top of the window and select the program run smaller window will now appear asking you to to type in the name of the program so when this pops up from this here's what we want this is this is what you're looking for there i'll leave that up there for a second with the arrow you're going to type that in please let's type that in okay not bad Number four, now we're gonna enter this right here and then click okay. The command will now open up a window because after you enter that, you hit okie dokie. All right, so now we're gonna access your broadband, okay? Access your broadband, let's see. 
trying to zoom it in a little bit for you. Maybe you can see this. I don't know. But it will look like this. And they highlighted in red what you're looking for. The computer, administrative templates, the network, limit, and the packet scheduler. Okay? This is what it looks like, what they want you to look at. Get to here. So then find a limit reservable bandwidth. Find limit reservable bandwidth. That's number one. Find a limit reservable right here. Okay? We found it on their video. I mean, I'm sorry, on their guide. Limit. We found it by clicking on these. Okay? That's what you're backtracking so you can get to there. Then you're going to... On the one local component, as policy editor the window appears. Under administrative templates, couldn't like the next standard network. Under network, select QOS packet scheduler limit. So basically, they type it out, but they're showing you the pictures of what they're typing out. Okay. Two, click on it. Now we're going to click on it, and then this box is going to open up. Okay, this box will open up. You point little arrow to this bandwidth limit percentage zero. Okay. Three. Enter the 0% within the limits reservable bandwidth window. Look under options on the left side of the window. You will see the option bandwidth limit. Enter 0. Okay? We did that. Enter 0. If you're whatever router that you're doing, enter 0. So now you're going to enter 0 and then start. Open the start menu again. Now go back to the start. Once you've opened the start menu, Look to the right side of the menu and click on Control Panel. Okay, you're going to open up your Control Panel. And then you're going to look for Network and Sharing. See that? They point an arrow to it from your Control Panel on your computer. And then Network and Sharing. Find this. Then click on Network and Sharing. Once you are in the Control Panel, scroll down until you see the Network and Sharing. Click on it. Okay, done that. I've done that many times. Then we're going to change adapter settings. I want you to click on this. Bam. Okay. Bam. Click on that. And then you're going to select change adapter settings. In the network and sharing window, you'll be able to view basic network information. Look to the left side of the window and locate the change adapter settings. Okay. You'll see this. Hopefully you see this. You're going to click on that. And click on the local area connection, just like they showed us. Bam. Click on it. Then scroll to the properties and click on it. The properties right here. Then click on it so that we can look into this and get to these areas. Because we want right here, Internet Protocol Version 4. You see that? Internet Protocol 4. Right, so I know we're going to click on that Protocol 4 and then select Properties. Okay? It's going to be automatic check mark for obtain an IP address. Use the following DNS server address. Okay, you see how that box looks right now. Change your DNS address under the general tab of your internet protocol version. Whatever this might be, we're going to change this to the following DNS server address and then click on circle next to enable this option. All right, you see the arrow? Now, at this point, I want you to write down, in case you have any problems for your default, what your numbers were before. Make sure you save that, please. Just as a precaution, always save it in case you missed a step so you can go back. And then you're going to go to here to the preferred DNS server, and then you see these numbers here, you're going to type them in, okay? Okay, Mission Impossible 9, not too bad, not too bad. Type them in. And then you're going to click uh, enter the following. You're going to click OK, enter the following values, the DNS server address. You see two lines of value boxes, one above each other as the preferred and then the DNS. Okay, the alternative DNS center at 888. And then the second one you're going to enter 8844. That's right here. Preferred, alternative, just like this. Pretty simple. Okay, obtain, increasing your broadband speed, obtain an IP address automatically, make sure that's checked, click 
OK. Just click OK, OK? Click OK. After you've entered the above address, click OK and close all other open windows. Your broadband speed will now be up to 20% faster than before. This is all the first step with regards to hacking your broadband, which is already yours. You already own this. You're already paying, paying for this, but you're going to hack your broadband for its speed. All right. So the other thing I put in the other video for you guys with regards to, let's see. I use this, for example, broadband speed. Speed up your Sky broadband by changing the channel, okay? Change the channel. So for like Sky people or Comcast or whatever internet provider that you might have, I did a video on this uh, for my buffering video that talked about changing your wireless channel because by default they put you on the crappiest one that is out there. So you're going to want to go into your settings you're going to want to follow one of these, whether it's like uh, Windows 8.10 or whatever, and it, it will just walk you through it, okay? Whatever you might have, whatever service that you might have, it will give you the step-by-step. -step. So go back to that, whatever you have on your wireless router to help you, you know, get to um, all your Wi-Fi products so that you're not running on default and getting no internet speed, okay? And then when you do all of that, you do the wireless channel, you're going to uh, you're going to do this hack the broadband okay you're going to want to do that and then um, this is just another example from uh, how to change your wireless channel for anybody who's got the Cisco they talk about it here again they point you in the direction like I did in my last video of going to like a Wi-Fi analyzer but basically just to change your channel get it off of there so it will be Wi-Fi analyzer that will help you it looks sort of like this Okay, I'll back up, see Wi-Fi analyzer. It will look like this and you'll find a little channel grid. This is all available in the Google Play Store, okay? Google Play Store and it'll tell you the truth. It will tell you the truth like what's going on with your particular deal, okay? And also as a tool and resource what I use, whoever I'm helping out on the road, I look up like whatever router they have. For example, um, the Comcast wireless gateway. I look up the manual. So whatever router that you have will have a manual and you're going to go online and look for the PDF, what you might have, and it will walk you through your particular router on these wireless channels, what you got to type in, how you got to log it in, step by step, couldn't make it any easier that you could do it yourself after you've done your Wi-Fi and then you see what it recommended on your channel selection. Most often they put you at the lowest one that does not work and then just change it. Go back to the guy, use the PDF that they have, It'll give you a selection here. You will select it and then get yourself to a better channel. Okay, that's what you're going to want to do. And then you're going to come back to your um, speed test. Okay, see what you're paying for. Look it up on your bills. See what you got. See what you're rocking. Uh, see how fast you can get going here. I'm running on uh, Wi-Fi even with interference all around me. So I'm pretty satisfied. Okay, I'm getting exactly what I'm paying for. That's a pretty cool deal. So I hope that uh, you've been able to learn here a little bit about how to hack your broadband router. And once again, go back. This is just an example here in the, uh, the wiki how, how to hack your broadband router speed. Okay, you're already paying for this. It's already in your system, but by default, they don't want to show you how to do this. They're more than happy to keep you, you know, holding back where you have no speed. So you got to call them up for, uh, for their help and pay more money. So let's not do that, folks. This is just my tips, tricks, and how to get into your broadband router. As always, uh, if you want the updates like this, as well as the other videos that we're doing here in the Jack Bauer uh, team here, subscribe right there. Subscribe, and then you will get a notice. A notice will come to your mobile device or however you have it set up in your email so that you'll know that you have uh, a video if you want to check it out, okay? So that's it, and I hope this uh, truly helps you out. I hope you get right back into your uh, router, and I hope that your speed gets up to what you're paying for. But once again, before I exit out of here, I want you to just I'll leave that up there for you. See the fast.com. Just go there. It's a free one by Netflix who busted all the internet providers from doing this. Okay? So there you go. That's the, uh, the complete Hack Your Broadband router for this segment. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed.